my perspective might be a little different because my I was there as they were preparing for the Olympics, and so there was tons of construction. Um, the number one ethnic group there, aside from Russians, was Muslims. They were kind of the cheap labor that would come in and, and they would work hours and hours and hours. Um, but they were all over the place, and for the majority, they were some of the nicest people I'd ever met. Um, extremely kind, were willing to hear us out even though they weren't going to be baptized or anything like that on the street. Um, so there was a lot of them. And then Sochi in general is kind of just a touristic place anyway. There's palm trees, averages like, doesn't get much colder than 30 degrees when it's really cold, but normally like 50 in the winter and stays nice and toasty in the summer. Um, Cause it's, it's surrounded by, I think it's the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And so very tropical considering it's in Russia. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then there's a lot of outdoor markets there just like there is everywhere, but the fruit and the fruit in Sochi is especially yummy. I don't know if that was for everybody else or just me, but loved it. Sochi was on, at least it felt like it was on just a giant hill. And so you're either constantly walking up or down is what it felt like, um, but beautiful. There was, all the sidewalks were brick. Um, most of them were anyway. And then a lot of what we would teach on, we teach on, not on the beach, but we'd walk down the boardwalk that's where a lot of people either worked or were there constantly. Um, but on the beach, there was no sand. It was just like lava rock. <laughs> Not a super nice beach. Um, but other common industries, um, a lot of, I mean, at that point, a lot of industrial from the standpoint that um, preparing for the Olympics. And so there's a lot of building all over the place. And I don't know how much of it they actually got done, but they started a lot for sure. Um, and then... Mm, the transportation, it's always super busy on the roads, it felt like. There was always traffic going one way or another. Um, and yeah, it, and there's these things, what they call marshrutkas. And those are, they're just like mini buses that fly all over the place. You pay when you get on and get off whenever you want to get off. And they're everywhere. Um, a lot of people don't have cars there. So they just ride public transportation, which is the normal form of transportation that way. Um, in terms of history of the city, I don't know that I know a lot other than, yeah, the Olympics were there that year. Um, and so they had a lot going on in and out, you know, before and after, just kind of like the usual Olympics, I guess. In terms of the preparation day, and this was how it was essentially in all of my areas, but everything was so spread out that there wasn't really time to do anything on a preparation day other than get your food, go shopping um, for your food, and then, um, yeah, write home and clean the apartment. The apartments were pretty nice. Um, and when I was there, we rented them, our two apartments, because we had two companionships there, and we rented them from the same landlady, and she was awesome, absolutely. She was one of my favorites of my whole mission. Um, and, but they were pretty clean. One was a little bit older than the other, but still nice, and we loved them. Um, our neighbors never really talked to the neighbors. They weren't really interested in us or what we had to say, so that was okay. Um, but other favorite places to see or to go, the boardwalk was super fun to proselyte on super fun because there were just tons of people and for the most part they were happy and excited. So the one place that we did eat out was it was a sushi, a sushi house and that was pretty, that was the first time I'd ever had sushi but it was really good.